G'day fellas, welcome back to another video. We're down at the spot. Gonna make this quick. Got an hour to fish. Gonna make my way down around this bend. Come along for the ride, eh? Like and subscribe. Alright fellas, we've arrived. Haven't been to this spot in a while. It's pretty much just up uh, downstream from where I usually go. So, wish me luck. Let's get in the water. Let's christen this new reel. Maybe catch a carp. Ready? EP? Anything at this rate? Yee 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 yee! Alright fellas, hope you enjoy, eh? Let's give it a couple casts in this area. Make it move around that bend and see if we can get a fish or two fellas. First cast of the trip. Got a Z-Man Grub, 120th jig head. Got the new reel set up. Plenty of braid on it. The right amount of backing. Alright fellas, I'm going to chuck in some bait quickly, I'm just at the spot at the end of the stretch I usually fish in the Maribyrnong River, so let's see how we go, I've got a running sink at a hook, got this open pool behind me, this side's all narrow, heaps of flow, comes out the beautiful water, so I'm going to get a bait in, like the video, subscribe to Jazz Adventures and let's get a few, eh? Yee!
Come on. It's a good EP. On the new reel. First fish is a ripper. Look at that beauty. On the softy. There we go, fellas. Fish number one. A healthy EP, probably in the mid to high 20s. Pretty decent for the Maribyrnong River section I'm fishing, so... Yeah, just on the plastic as you saw, we'll get him get him back in the water for you. Surely for that fish alone, you just can like the video. Subscribe to Jazz Adventures, and if you want to come out land based chasing him on a guide, hit me up, should be a reasonable price. And we can come flicking lures in some of the spots that I know they're, they're prominent, so... We'll get him back, eh? Yee! Right, mate. Thanks for that. Gone like last week's pay. That's how it's done, fellas. Can't get better than that, eh? Thanks for all your support and keep watching till the end and comment on the video, whatever you like, and hopefully you enjoy. Legends, man. I only got to have one cast with my plastic before and I caught that EP here first cast. So now I've got my bait back in. I'm gonna have my second cast in the same spot. Wasn't the same spot, but hopefully there was a school there. Had to better cast. That's where I had the bite before. Got him. This one feels like a red fin. It's much bigger. Got him. No way. He scoffed the fellas. Look at that for already, fellas. That's a good fish, eh? Cracker for this river, man in the high 30s for sure on the um, grub again but yeah that's a good fish not much room here to stand I called the cast I said that's more like the cast sort of thing and as soon as it got tight I went to twitch my lure and bang yeah I'm stoked with that fellas we'll get a release all on him unfortunately I don't have a measure but that's two species in three casts so Will you wait and will you bait fishing no matter where you are? You should always throw a lure because even the carp, if you're just carp fishing, sometimes will hit a lure. But if there's any other species, you can pull them out. That's that's fat too. Yee! That's how you get it done, fellas. Come for a guide one day. How's that, fellas? Beautiful ready, mate. I knew there had to be more fish on this end. It's been a lot slower where I usually go. So I came downstream past the big choke point and this must be where the fish are. So we'll get him released and... Surely for the redfin catch, you share the video, show someone that there are redfin in the Maribyrnong, even big EPs in the freshwater section. So next time you catch up with them, come out for a fish, comment on this video or my next video whenever you do and let me know how you went. Send me some pictures on Instagram and maybe I might do a shout out or a giveaway to some of the best pictures I received throughout the month. So keep up to date with my info, keep up to date with my videos and Subscribe with the bell on, fellas. Yee! Here it goes. This little beauty, man. Such a chunk. He was gut hooked, and he is sitting up right. There he goes. Didn't even know he was in the water. Hopefully, he's enjoyed that. Let's get a few more. I'm stoked. Come on, on the new reel. Doesn't feel massive. Or he hasn't woken up yet. Just a small carp. I can't let him go down though. Because um I got a pretty thin line. Got him. Trifecta.
Here we go, fellas. We've got a sand marlin, not a mud marlin. This thing's covered in gravel. But yeah, it's, that's the trifecta for today. And you can probably see there, I upgraded hooks on this rod. Unweighted and it worked on the bit of bread. I've been missing a lot of bites on the small hook, so there we go. We'll get him knocked on the head though. He ain't going back. No way. I ain't risking the fine. Nor do I want it in here. So I'm going to get him knocked on the head and hopefully get one on my other rod and cast this one back here. Get another. Head home and edit this video for you guys, eh? So hope you enjoy it. And remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and message me for guides, eh? Thanks for watching, fellas. Let's get a few more before, before the night ends. All right, fellas. Well, it's the end of the session, and I thought I'd give my honest take on this new reel. And personally, I feel for its size, which is a 2000, it's a bit big, bulky, deep spool, takes a lot of line, and it's really a, a bit overpowered for this rod. My, o, my OG reel seems to feel a lot more suitable to the rod maybe if you were running a three to five kilo rod and throwing some heavier lures i reckon this reel would be ideal but for the sort of stuff i do it's just probably going to be my bait reel um but yeah today's session one good ep really nice ready and a really small carp so hopefully while i'm packing up here i get a couple bites catch a couple more fish because i've got a bit of a walk out and it's starting to get dark and it's very dangerous of a walk as you probably saw on the way in a lot of cliff faces and big rocks and slippery grass so these are absolute legends and if you're a real one and have watched to the end leave it in the comments below let me know that you've actually watched to the end and give me suggestions what do you want to see like really like what's going to help me grow in the algorithm and i'll probably see you on the next episode fellas so follow my instagram to keep up to date live on the stuff i'm catching on my stories and posts so don't miss out on anything, and I'll see you on the next episode. Legends.